Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. 1966 house entry door and it has a five inch back set. Cool. So I'm trying to put a new lock set on it and um, the locksmith that I've been talking to is having a dickens of a time finding um, something that would work with a five inch back set. And I noticed there was a YouTube video with your company there talking about a Yale product. Well, so, yeah, the home I grew up in is vintage 60s. I mean, tell me about it, which had, I think it actually had a 12-inch back set. Um, tell me, you know, is it just a knob set at 5-inch back? No, it's a, a, well, I have a deadbolt and a knob, yeah, latch. Okay. Or a lever. Uh, okay, I guess, a I lever from the pictures. 60s had a 5-inch back set? Well, I don't know if it's original. Okay. I don't know if it's original, but the door is original. Yeah, yeah. So getting a five inch back set's gonna be easy, but you know, if he's looking at you know, garden variety home you know, ammo dump type locks, it's you won't find that available uh in the common builder's caliber. Um, you would need to move yourself to something that would be what we'd call a grade two. Well, that's not true, though. Schlage's F-Series always had a five-inch back set, um, and I'm sure their B-Series does as well. But, well, maybe yeah, five because, inch is super easy. Well, maybe it's because I tasked him with that I want it to be, you know, electronic or Wi-Fi capable. Well, um... I didn't think there was any different. I mean, you just change the... But the the, mecha, the latching mechanism is the same, whether it's electronic or not, isn't it? No. One's got oh. electrified parts in it. Well, but I mean the actual movement part of the, you know, where the five-inch back set plays a part in it. Not really. Um no. You know, it's like, well, a starter from a Ford and a Chevy are the same starter. It doesn't mean they're going to fit on each other. And even if they did, they may not work. You know, it may, may may not work reliably. Yeah, you proved um, your point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so can you I want your lock you to run on. Well, you can definitely send me a picture. Sure. You want yeah. your lock to operate on batteries? Yeah. Okay. Well, your standard um, you know standard electronic lock type stuff. You know, doesn't have to be Wi-Fi, but at least have a a keypad like a, a touchpad or something. Something yeah. cool. I mean, the house is really cool. The house is really unusual. It deserves an amazing lock set. Um, right. So I'm thinking that uh, – so the re the question about batteries was to make sure you weren't hardwiring this. Um, oh, yeah. No, definitely not hardwiring. And let's take a look and see. If you give me your email, I'll send it to you real quick. Yeah, it's sales at – then it's same as the website, absupply.net. Where are the downloads? Yep. Let's see. I happen to have a Yale, uh, one of their um, keypad locks. Let's take a look. Okay, any X T O U C H. I'm looking to see if the first lock I'm thinking of has a five inch capability. Strikes. No, two and three quarter. Um, okay, so. I don't I, I don't think that's going to be the end of the world because they ought to be able to take this cylindrical type lock and basically just add an extension link, which is very possibly what you have in your door if you pulled it all out. 
Um, so I'm familiar with Yale's Next Touch. Next Touch. Um, it's it it can have um, you know Z-Wave com compatibility, um, or it can be just without that. Um, so your operator would have to be Z-Wave, you know, compatible. Um, so I don't, I don't think that, that that's. It's just a it's a platform of being able to control it wirelessly. Um, the Z Wave is like saying um, RS two thirty two. It's a standard, um, you know, um, RJ forty five, that kind of thing. So I can contact Yale and ask them if they can do a five inch with a link on this next touch. Um, Schlag would be another huge name that you're going to bump into, but. And, and I don't have any experience with their residential, you know, wireless in, uh, locks. I don't know if something can be done in terms of a five-inch back set. Um, so I'd be happy to see if – I can send you a cut sheet to the Yale lock if it's what you're interested in. Um, Wiser maybe or Quickset? That's not original. That looks like Quickset. Are you looking uh, at it now? Yeah, it's definitely quick set, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the uh, might have some trouble with that cool, you know, fur to lease thing discussion on the deadbolt with where the hardware would lay out. Um, maybe. Uh, so we, I can. We... You've got that discussion underneath the deadbolt on the outside. Yeah, those oh, are. Oh, cool. are you looking at the cross section of the door? Mm, no, the elevation. What species of wood is that? Is that Sapili? Sapili. Yeah, Sapili is a, a species of mahogany, an African species oh, of mahogany. Oh gosh, I don't, I don't know what it is, man. Yeah, it looks like it's Sapili. <laughs> If it's a real veneer, which it looks like it is, um, it looks like it's Sapili, which, you know, when people say mahogany, you know, yeah, there's the Chevrolet mahogany, and then there's the Cadillac mahogany, and the Sapili is the Cadillac. I, 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 that, that's not enough of a difference between the two. Sapili is the right stuff to use. Um, okay, so in terms of the Schlage or anything else, I, I, I don't know. I don't deal in the residential line of Schlage, so I'm, I'm not up to speed with it. Yale has something that um, I believe will work, and I believe they can make us a link for it, um, and I will ask that they confirm that. Uh, in terms of a deadbolt, that won't be a problem, but that inch and a half hole that you have, oh, no, it's probably two and an eighth. Um, yeah, two and an eighth. So I'll reply back uh, with a catalog cut of what I can supply, um, and if that looks like it's in the running, I will um, contact them and ask if we can do a five-inch uh, back set on that lock. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Well, I don't know about that, but you know, let's let's see if this is you know even remotely you know in the ballpark. Um, you know, you still want to be able to control it. Um, from your phone, I imagine. Uh, so you'll have to look into that. But you know, doing it, you know, push button is certainly no problem. Data on card manual. Well, I don't I know think you're going to be. Yale is the manufacturer of the interface that works with the um, Nest um, mm -hmm. by Google. That's cool. Yeah, I've got so one. I, I, yeah, I don't know if that means they can make the Nest lock work with this. Or find out what Yale products are Nest compatible, and then I'll contact Yale Tech Support if they can help me because there's a clear division between commercial and residential. Um, they they just can't speak each other's language. They don't. Different companies, different divisions. Sure. Um, and the product that I'm looking at is within the commercial under the commercial umbrella. What's the model number you're looking at? It's called the Next Touch. I'm going to send yeah. you an email with a link to the cut sheet when I um, get back to my desk. I well, I googled Next Touch and got the Yale stuff. Yeah. And oh, there you go. So I I see all of them. I'm trying to find something that's in black. Um, it needs to be black. Yeah, they can they can special order it. Black oh, really? suede powder coat, they call it. Mm -hmm. At least I believe they can. Um, I ordered. 
let's see. I, I've got a couple in oil rubbed on my desk. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they definitely offer BSP, black suede powder coat. They, they, that is a standard option. Wow, this is great news. Oh, I'm so relieved. Well, I, I think you're going to have a problem with the templating of the next touch and its proximity to the deadbolt. That's pretty close. Um, that might come no, really well, close. Uh, oh, so I think maybe there's a misunderstanding. Um, I would like the deadbolt to be the the electronic component, and the latch can be just regular key. Does that make any sense? Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Um, yeah, this next touch from Yale is is going to have operating trim on it. Well, maybe you could send my pictures up along to Yale and just see what they say. Sure, absolutely. See if there's something they can provide me in yeah. black that is modern looking. You know, it's got to be appropriate for 1960s, so I like the very modern, uh, retro, whatever word I'm thinking of. Mid-century modern is the house. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Clean edges, you know, clean lines. Yeah, so um, I, I'm familiar with everything Yale does in the commercial realm. This would be the closest thing that they would have available. Yale, there is a there is Yale Residential, um, and in that um, sandbox, I've never played. So there could be a Yale product out there that I don't have access to. Um, mm -hmm. I don't. There's not a phone number I can call. You know, there's none of that. Um, so you might still be trying to do some research, um, but I would find out what products Google is compatible with, what the Nest is compatible with, and uh, reply when I do send you that email shortly. Reply with those part numbers, and I'll at least investigate it. Okay. Cool. Yeah, cool looking uh, Sapili there. I my house in Illinois was all I had all the doors built out of Sapili. It's a gorgeous wood. Yeah, yeah, it's an amazing door for being 50 plus years old. It's so perfect and trim and no sags or I mean it's just I can't get rid of it. No, you can't. It would cost a fortune to replace it. Yes. I'd rather spend yeah. a fortune on a lock set and make it work. Well, these locks aren't 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 that expensive. Um uh well, we'll see. Um <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't want to have two different, you know, definitions of fortune. Um, you know, I've done well, I, I've done doors yeah. that were <laughs> a real fortune. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. My name is Richard. I'll send you an email in a few moments. Um, you do your research about what the Nest is compatible with, and we will meet in the middle. Okay. Thank you. Sure thing. Bye bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. This video is to conclude or let you know exactly how that conversation turned out. It went from me, if I recall, because it's now late October and this conversation occurred in late March, and I'm just getting around to completing this. Um, if I recall, I, I was pretty convinced that there was no option uh, for a five inch back set, but that I would do some research. And I think I recall the client's initial locksmith saying, yeah, I've got nothing for you. After that conversation, I decided, well, let's not let, just let this go. Let's, let's find out because something told me that there's got to be something because five inch back set is not unusual in the world of residential hardware, uh, residential locks, especially mid 20th century, unusual back sets. Um, whether it be 5 inch or 12 inch or 18 inch or something not 2 and 3 eighths or 2 and 3 quarter. So what ended up happening is I have a secret contact at Schlage and I asked my secret contact uh, and whether they referred me to someone else at Schlage or they knew the answer, I believe it was the latter. It ended up being that the Schlage BE375, uh, and I'm looking at it, electronic um, code entry deadbolt is completely compatible with the Schlage 12-349. The Schlage 12-349, and I'm going to pull it up in the catalog, 
I believe that's a five inch deadbolt for their B, maybe their B500 series or 600, but the catalog is loading now. So 12-349. Okay, catalog is loaded. It is not in the primary commercial catalog, nor is it in the commercial price list. Ah, it is in the residential price list, and it is a 5-inch back set from the B60. Their B60 series. That's a five inch back set. So I was able to get the lock, get the latch bolt. The client was tickled. Um, he ended up, so mid 20th century, West Coast, walnut doors, you know, classic mid century modern sort of look. Um, I'll actually tack on some photographs so you can see some of these doors as well. Um, just to review, if you're looking for a electronic combination deadbolt with a 5-inch backside, BE375, then the 12-349. This client also ordered other all the other locks for his house, F51As uh, and a, a particular lever design with a particular rose design. He ordered some deadbolts. We did all the locksmithing for him. He ordered some dummies. Worked out splendidly. Uh, so if you're wondering how to do it, that's how you do it. Thank you very much. If there's any questions on this, if you'd like to place an order, we stand by ready to assist. Thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.